hello welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how i made this jacket potato <laughs> this is really funny because my friend were like no 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 they couldn't eat it they couldn't make it and all of them like okay i'm going to give it a try the reason why i've not tried it all this well was because i didn't want to just put one potato inside my big oven what electricity bill <laughs> So when I went to the African store and bought some corn, I was like, okay, this is a good opportunity. So I bought some jacket potatoes, um, some um, Irish potatoes. And um, yeah, came out really lovely. I loved and loved and loved it. And especially the, the jacket, the, the jacket, the, the peel that is made from the jacket so i had to like eat it with some corn and pear and it was all fantastic meal so let's go into i made this it's just with some potatoes butter baked beans and uh, of course some cheese and that's like the basic ingredients this meal is super easy not stressful and it is really nice so first thing I did was I washed my potatoes. Have it in mind that we're going to be cooking these potatoes with the peel. You're not going to peel it off like yam. <laughs> so I washed my potatoes. I made sure I gave them like thorough washing, but they are not dirty anyway. I guess they washed them before selling them. So I washed them thoroughly, and um, at some point I used a sponge, <laughs> like my mom used to wash yam. So that was it after washing them i just um, had to remove some of the spots if there are any spots around it that you know will not be palatable or might be deeper than the surface just have to like knife it out take all of those rubbish out and then after removing all those after removing all those so what i did next was i just um, stabbed the potatoes so that when it is baking and it is swelling the um the peel doesn't burst then you don't have a busted potato and everything can simmer down so i put on my oven i put it to up and down um setting and then i put it to about 200 degrees celsius i don't know i didn't see the temperature anywhere I just used whatever i liked so next thing i did was i added some salt to my potatoes enough salt actually you know you're not cooking this so it's not like the salt will be too much or anything and then i just like kind of rubbed the salt in put it in the tray ready to be baked so it's just the repetition did it for each and every one of the potatoes and um that was it so i put them all in the baking sheet ready to go into the oven I also added my um, corn to it, my main corn, which is the main reason why I'm cooking this meal. And then put them in the oven and allow that to sit for approximately 40 minutes was what is spent in the oven. So I opened up my um, baked beans because I don't like the generic taste of baked beans. So I'm going to cook it my own way. I'm going to use it to make a sauce. So what I did is after opening it up, I just um, turned out the um, content into, into a bowl, into a sieve, I'm saying rubbish. I just turned out the content into a sieve, sieved all the sauce out. And so I was left with just the beans. And with just the beans, I'm going to be making my own sauce for this jacket potato. So what I have here is my um, is a leftover sauce that I used to eat. Um, it's just basically fish and some tomatoes. This is the beans, washed off the um, sauce on it. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to add some onions into, I just chopped up the onions. I'm going to add some onions into this sauce. I'm going to reheat it a little bit and I don't want the onions to be too fried I just want it to be because I want it to be crunchy I want to be tasting the crunchiness when I'm eating the um, potatoes so I just allow that to simmer a little bit and then 
at this juncture if you're going to be cooking it without a leftover sauce after putting in your pepper your onions then you have to add some sauce like um, maggi or salt or pepper or anything what everything your fancy is and then so after that allowed it to simmer for a little while so this is the point where I add in the beans and then stirring everything together um, I eventually added a little bit of water so I allow it to um, I don't know the English word. <laughs> so I like it to be better, better. <laughs> so I eventually added a bit of water, allowed it to cook together, and then uh, that was just it. Allow it to cook on a mi medium or low heat. That's what is best for this uh, big piece. So you're just warming it up. And um, that's it. All cooked up, and I'm waiting for my potatoes to be done in the oven in a little while i'm just going to go check them up and as this is hold on on the other hand i have my grated cheese and just bringing out my potatoes from the oven look something like this and i just like had to go in through had to go through it with um, a knife just to see how to have a feel of how it is on the inside and they were quite ready i was happy to go ahead with seven them now the seven this is me trying to look for the most appropriate place to open it up i was trying to open it with my hands but i ended up using a knife to like make like a plus sign like an addition sign on it so with that i was able to open it up a little bit and then i just like mashed it up inside just just like that something just like that after which i had it um i think it a spoon i don't know maybe half a spoon half a spoon of butter like the most satisfying part of this food because you, you're like serving it up washing it up and you're like oh i'm going to eat this delicious meal so just added a spoon of butter allowed that to melt into the potatoes so that's like you um, i think one day i'll try it with palm oil instead of butter <laughs> So yeah, that's what it looks like after adding the butter into it and just trying to open it up for you to see. The next thing is I dump my cheese on it and my cheese was not staying on me. I like my cheese to be melted, you know, like I, I don't want to be eating it like this. So what I did was instead of just putting it like that, I just used the knife to press it inside the potato and since the potato has a jacket anyway so don't worry it was just expanding and it was accepting everything i was putting into it so after putting that if you are a salt or sauce um or spice addict at this point i think you can add a little bit of salt into the potato and um, maybe whatever spice you think you might want to have inside it as well so the next thing this is what it looks like very very sumptuous very very yummy next thing was to add my sauce my my baked beans in my own special way so i just added the sauce onto the jacket potato and that's basically what you need to do that's basically what you need to do just add some 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 of the, the sauce and that was it i really enjoyed this meal if you try it out you let me know and tell me review your taste for me if you tried it let me know if um whatever thing however you had it just let me know this was my seventh eventually added with some corn and some pear and it was nice